My name is Christopher Gerber. I'm with High Tech High and I'm the Director of Facilities. At High Tech High, we have been building schools for 10 years and we've learned lessons along the way. One thing that we've always used was using the CHIPS framework for guiding our design process. And we're very pleased that we've actually become, with High Tech High Chula Vista, the first CHIPS verified school in California. My name is Chip Fox, and I'm the new construction manager for San Diego Gas and Electric. And I also serve a dual role as the board chairman of the Collaborative for High Performance Schools. The biggest reason that a school district should become involved in CHIPS is the resources that CHIPS can bring to the district. Through our design manuals, if you want to be a green, sustainable, high-performing school, here's the, here's the way you do that. High Tech High Chula Vista is a public charter school. It serves 550 students in grades 9 through 12. I'm Jessica Rodriguez and I'm a junior at High Tech High Chula Vista. I know that there are a lot of classrooms sometimes in normal high schools where there's absolutely no windows and it's all fluorescent lighting and it's kind of hard on your eyes, but I think here we rarely ever use the lights because there's so much light coming in from everywhere else. Early in the design process, we started thinking about what the school should really be for the students. Um, we talked to students, we talked to the community members, and we found that what they needed is a school that would be safe, healthy, and effective. So we came up with three design principles that are woven throughout the process so that it would become a toxics-free environment, that it would use resources sustainably, and that it would be an engaging learning environment. The environment does affect your learning. I think the most important thing would to be thinking about the environment for the kids instead of the curriculum and stuff. Half, 50 percent of that is going to be what your room looks like and how you feel in it. We scrutinized every material that came into the building, but also looked at the processes by which those materials were being put together inside the building, and then long term, how we utilized and disposed of those materials. We tried to reduce our energy footprint overall by only conditioning the spaces that the students spend their time in taking tests or listening to lectures. For areas such as hallways where they're just walking back and forth or doing project work, we passively ventilated them, not incorporating mechanical air conditioning systems or expensive lighting systems. So we saved money at first cost, but also in long-term operational costs. We work collaboratively with their design teams and the schools to encourage them to make those higher efficient choices. Those choices will provide them a lot of savings in their energy budget month to month and year to year. We of course looked at energy and energy conservation, but we also looked at water efficiency, not only in our domestic water systems, but also in our landscaping. We used reclaimed water as an example for all the landscaping, which is reclaimed from non-potable water sources. I think one thing that's different about High Tech High is we design the schools to be engaging for the students. And so at every opportunity, we're trying to get the kids to be part of the experience. I'm Julian Diaz. I'm in 11th grade and I go to High Tech High School of Vista. Before, I had never even known about solar panels before I came here. And now I've seen solar panels in a lot of places. And it just made me think about energy a lot differently. So now when I'm not using appliances at my house, I unplug them so that they're not using power and I've just changed a lot of small things in my life. In environmental science, we're not just learning about how plants grow, but some people actually plant plants, which is really, really exciting, especially when kind of, it gives you a lot of opportunities for experiencing different things outside of the classroom. Instead of textbooks, there's take care of your plants outside before you start class kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, I've recently become a grandparent, and so it's, it's, it gives me a great deal of pride to know that the things that I'm doing, whether that's policy advocacy, providing incentives, providing design uh, help on high-performance schools will be schools that my grandkids at some point will have an opportunity to go to and learn. 